When was it okay to use a woman as a sex object? When was it okay to treat women as property? When was it okay to throw acid on your spouse's face? When was it okay to not let a dad keep his kids? Sexism is one that hurts all. When sexism is brought up, there's only really a few things that come to mind. Unfair wages, sexism through TV or media, and that sexism does not really exist. But what exactly is sexism? Sexism is the prejudice, stereotyping, or discrimination typically against women on the basis of sex. Sexism is not only a recent topic though. First, we have origins in ancient Greece in which women were expected to stay home because they were treated as property and take care for cleaning, cooking, and giving birth. Next, we have the Salem Witch Trials in which women were put to death on trial and were not given much of a chance to defend themselves. Next, we have correspondence to talk about the misconceptions of sexism. When sexism is brought up, there are really only a few things that come to mind. Society is trying to paint a picture in which shows that sexism does not really exist, but in fact, it does. Some common misconceptions about sexism are... Sexism is just a recent issue and has not been around for long. Sexism occurs only from a man to a woman, but it is vice versa too. Lastly, sexism is not very prominent in today's world. Next, we visit an urban neighborhood to see some common practices known as sexism. Hey, Sarah. Hi, Aaron. Hey, how are you? Good. Sarah, I have to ask you something. What is it, Aaron? Well, I think you're really pretty. Do you love me? No, you're kind of too short for me. Okay. Sarah, you never do anything. Who's just sitting around? I cook and I clean in this house. Nah, nah, those are not important. Those are not serious things. Why don't you go inside and make me a sandwich? Now we're going to have some short interviews from those people, the victims, who suffer from the sexist comments. Hello, this is Nathaniel Asimov. We're just interviewing you based on the rude comments we saw you were suffering from. How did those make you feel? I felt very hurt. The fact that my height is separating me from someone that I love. I mean, I want to be together, but I just can't because some people just don't feel that we can. That is really sad news. How often are you impacted by these comments based on your shortness? My stature um, sadly makes me often affected by these comments. I often get discriminated for this. It really hurts inside. Finally, how does this impact you emotionally and... Yeah. Well, I cry myself to sleep. I'm very sad at night. It hurts. There you have it. Hello, this is Nathaniel Osmoa, and we just wanted to hear about your comments on what just happened between you and your husband. Well, I always feel like I've been discriminated for being a woman because I should cook and I should clean in the house and that's my job. How do you, how did those comments make you feel emotionally? It made me feel like he didn't care about me at all. And what are some actions or what are some lasting impacts you feel that this will have on you? Well, if I have kids, then I'll tell them that this isn't how you should be treated with by a man. Thank you for your time. There you have it. Those are some interviews of fellow sexism seen in our community. Back to you, Aaron. That one in four women admit to being sexually harassed. 28% of women wore sexually revealing clothing as opposed to 7% of men. 10.5% of movies featured a balanced cast where half of the characters are female. Males outnumber females three to one in most family films. Lastly, are people still sexist today? Research shows yes, and that women still fight, which can be seen in a lot of movies a lot of people watch today. We know of the depression, the self-harm, and the suicide sexism can cause. The true question is, how can we stop it? Here are some correspondence to teach us how to end this. It. it needs to be stopped in our world because it happens daily. When we're kids, we should be taught that women and men are equal. There's so many things that we can do to stop this all together, 
Like, for instance, just don't say anything rude to the opposite sex. We're all the same. If women weren't here, we wouldn't have men or women. Either way, we're the same people. Me, and him, and her, we are all the same. So there's no reason to put someone down for anything. This has been how sexism is present today. It can still be seen all throughout the world in both boys and girls. Sexism is the one that hurts us all. I'm Aaron Mangus. And I'm Nathaniel Asamoah. And this is ASLN News.